Today, there are only two types of proboscidae remaining. They are both tropical in nature, but they come from areas that are quite separate geographically. Although these two species of elephant are superficially similar, it is actually very easy to tell them apart. The African elephant has larger ears than the Asian elephant. The Asian elephant has a more pronounced forehead area than the African elephant. In profile, the back of the Asian elephant arches upward right from its front shoulders to its back hips. The back of the African elephant slopes down over its shoulders, forming a more gradual arch that rises over the hips. Although they seem a lot alike, these two species are not particularly closely related. Their evolutionary lines have been separate for about five million years. In fact, evidence suggests that Asian elephants were more closely related to extinct woolly mammoths of the past than they are to African elephants of today. Perhaps that's why the Asian elephants are often much hairier than their African counterparts. This young beauty is only one year old and she already weighs more than 600 pounds. By the time she's an adult, she will grow to be more than 6,000 pounds and live to be 60 years old. And because she is an Asian, not African elephant, she won't develop prominent tusks. But that doesn't mean she won't develop any tusks at all. Let me show you. 